Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on tech videos. So today is all about changing the domain user's password with remote services. Now I had to implement this within one of my clients uh, job site because they had consultants that needed to change the active directory password, but they didn't want to log into a virtual machine and change their password. They wanted a, a, another solution, an easier solution. So I did some research and it looks like within remote services, you are able to do this. So let's get started. I had a testing machine within my VMware workstation. It is running server 2019 standard. It is built 17744 RS5 Redstone 5. And from here, I clicked on start and I went inside server manager. Once server manager was up and running, I clicked on manage. I clicked on add roles and features. You're going to get the add roles and feature wizard. So from here, click on next. I left it as the default. Click next again. Again, you're going to click on next again. From here, the role that we need to pick is remote desktop services and then click on next. Features, you don't really need anything. Uh, so click next again then click next again, a lot of next. Now we need to pick three services for our remote desktop. The first one that we need to pick is the connection broker. So once you click on that, once you pick your connection broker, it's gonna want you to add additional features. So click on add features. And the next service that we need to add is the desktop session host. So select that, again, add the features that it needs. And the last one that we need is the desktop web access. So select it and just Make sure just click on add features because we need all these and then click on next. Uh, we're going to go next again, leave the default settings for the website IIS. You don't really need to change anything. Click next, uh, make sure you restart the machine and it's going to give you a nice little warning. So click on yes on that and click on install. Now the installation takes about five to 10 minutes. Once that's done, it's going to restart your machine. Once it restarts your machine and you log into your, you know, your virtual machine or your server, click on start, go inside Windows Administrative Tools, locate your IIS manager and click on it. Once that loads up, we need to click on the name of your server. For me, it was vconfig. Uh, expand that. We need to expand sites, go inside default website and expand RD web. And from here, we need to click on pages. Now, once you're inside pages, we need to locate application settings. So double click on that. Now, the only thing that we need to change here is password change enabled. This guy right here, by default, it is set as false. So double click on it and change the value to true. Once you set it to true, press okay, and that's it. Now to test this, I open up my Chrome and within Chrome, I typed in the following HTTP, uh, the name of the server, RD Web Pages, E-N-U-S, password.aspx. So I hit enter. Now I received this 403.4 forbidden uh, issue. And the problem was, is I forgot to add HTTPS. So make sure you put HTTPS. Uh, once I made the modifications and I hit enter, your users are going to get this. They need to enter their domain. So for me, it would be btnhd.edu forward slash the username, the current password, the new password confirm it, submitted, and then good to go. How awesome is that? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below uh, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.